Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars. I have, in this series, tried to show people the truth about the plant life of Mars. Much of it is difficult to see. You see the, these little gray areas where it just looks fuzzy. More than likely, what you're seeing there is plant life because you can't focus in on such small objects. There's certainly not rocks or anything like that. And here's an example of what I'm talking about right in this photo. Now, I'm going to cut this series shorter than I wanted to because I want to get to some other stuff. I have a really incredible object that I want to show. It's going to be a two-parter for sure. So, we're going to take a look at Another photo is coming up shortly. It'll be in the green. We'll see the green in the distance. It's not basalt or anything. I believe it's vegetation. And here we go. Take a look at the uh, vegetation in the background. Almost certainly plant life. I doubt very seriously we're looking at rocks. But I have one that will knock your socks off. Coming up. After just one more generic photo that shows kind of the gray, the fuzziness. Uh, there are plants that are gray in color. Some things like dusty millers here on Earth are gray, just for example. But here we go with a really startling color photo, which will wrap the series up. All right, now here we have a sea of green, right? Well, not impressive, right? Wrong. Take a look at the ridge. The green area down below, and then there's a ridge where the rock faces separate. If you zoom in on that, you'll find out uh, the growth goes over that ridge. That's something rocks can't do. I mean, if you poured a bunch of rocks, part of them would be on the top, part of them would be on the bottom, but they wouldn't go over the ridge. Unless they're piled up, in which case we could tell. No. The only thing that can do this is plant life. And this is the point. Now some of you out there are experts in the field. Some of you are botanists and so forth. Why don't you speak out? You may have to make a sacrifice in order to do this. But we need more people who will sacrifice and demand the truth. Because those who've lied to the public must be punished. And the truth must be told to the public. This photo and others like it are proof that there is vegetation on Mars. There's simply no question. But the rest is up to you. I thank you for your kind attention during this series. And may God bless you in the new year.